Just got one. Fish cooked on the rock. Looking good. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Good morning. Ugh. Day 24. Much to do, much to do. He is the king of perching coffee on the most precarious places and cooking it all the way through. The entire time we've been here, he's done two pots a day like that, pretty much. And, uh, you know, our morning coffee and our afternoon coffee. And, and only once did he just spoil fresh grounds. So, you know, that's pretty good odds. It's precarious, but it works. Yeah, it's just that one board is a little wobbly, but... Jeez, picky. Man, I build him a table and he's like, it's like, well, that yeah. One board is wobbly, it's like but... the like, guy from the office, yeah. Yeah. We have sort of a problem here. Yeah, it's just that one board is a little wobbly. Fine, I'll take the one board on my side. That would be great. I do want to tune it up and join him a little better with the bark off. And... I'm sure you do that from now on, that would be great. But we'll see. I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Okay. Thanks. That's <laughs> nice, but uh, well, one board's on. <laughs> I'll tune it up. I have so many well, things I want to do, and we only have six days. Six days. Six. And well, we, have to catch we only have five days. days we're doing stuff, right? Because day six, we're just, we're out of here. Um, no, I think there's still six days. Oh. The seventh day is when we're leaving, I think, right? Seven. Eight by nine. Yeah, we have six days of doing stuff. Yes. Okay. Six days of doing stuff left. That's a, that's a lot of days of doing stuff. Well, it is. That's a lot. We, we can get all kinds of stuff done. Well, I'd sure like to find some blueberries. Yeah. And I want to get my drawbridge done. I was even thinking of making a crow's nest up there so that we could, like, look out and maybe we'll see the bear better. Yeah, like, that's what we want to do is we want to see the bear. So... We got a resident grizzly bear that hangs out over here. We wanna, He's our buddy. We want to get a good, uh, like a 900 pound grizzly. So hopefully he stays over that way, but 
He's but, a big one. Yeah, or at least during the daytime. And he can come over here and, you he can know. Come over at night and yeah, say hi. And lick our camp stones here if he wants to or whatever, but um, lick our dishes clean. Uh, you'll have to go back and watch that uh, former video there a couple days ago. Or check out the playlist link below for both of our channels. You can start the series from the beginning if you've just tuned in. Check it out down there. And there's also a season one that I did in Texas, 30 days. So, yeah. There it is. Good. This one's private. I'm not gonna tell you what that one is. Nothing dirty. It's just sweet. Keeping that one to myself. We need to catch some fish. So smash that like button, give us some uh, give us some love, hit subscribe. So we got some luck behind us in fish catching. Be like one of those annoying YouTubers. Make sure you hit that like button and smash it. Give us some luck, even though the outcome is already predicted by the time you're watching this. We will have fish. It will have fish or we won't have fish. Then we may even be didn't buried and this is being aired by our relatives. I <laughs> know, just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. Let's get some fish. You going that way? Yeah, I'm gonna head this way, go to my re regular spot. All right. Check my uh, set line. Cool. And I'll, I'll come over in half an hour or so. All right, I'll see you over there when you come over. Nailed it! He did it. Victorious fisherman returns. Go. He's got a fish. Dinner. I won't go hungry. Woo! All right, Greg. Yeah. Well, maybe they were taking a. Maybe a they break. were they were taking a lunch break. Well, we took a lunch break, and yeah. and now the bite is back on. Well, it'd be good because I'll tell you what, a couple more would be nice. Yeah, it's a long hike to come down here and, and only catch like a fish for the day. I know. Yeah. 
but I didn't bring it. I forgot to bring it. I was actually thinking of uh, if I did go to use that one, cutting that whole uh, orange off. Cut some off. of this off. Cut the whole thing right off. I think I think you're right. Because I, I don't think that helps us. I don't think it does either. Yeah, get rid of this. Yeah, because my lucky lure doesn't have any of that frilly stuff on it. No. You and so they see the not, little not necessary. Yeah, they see the little minnow imitation and then they see the worm. Exactly. And it's caught me more fish. And so is yours your Without. lure. With a single hook and a worm and Exactly. Just... Now I don't mind the idea of three prong, which is a good idea. Yeah. But yes, I don't like the fuzz covering the barbs. Cover it with worm instead. I think the fuzz might work and be helpful if that's all you're doing. Yes, but is, see, if you don't I still have a worm. Got a bit of orange, so that'll yeah. work just as fine. Yeah. If you didn't have a worm yeah. and you're just using a lure, that, that fuzz is probably what's but yes, but since we're using bait, we and, don't need it. And they bite so much more on worms. That is a big fat guy, boy. On the woolly bugger. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, you better play him. Woo! Nice. There's a big one or a decent sized one. On the woolly bugger! Woo! That got one on his fly rod. Oh, change the battery pack. Are you kidding me? We got one. 
Got one on his fly rod. Come on, Lord, help me land it. Don't fail me now. Wow, he really runs when he runs, huh? Yeah. You gotta wear him out. What? What the hell are you talking about? over there by that log. No. Ah, come on, you little booger. Every time I go for the net. Oh, no, 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 not by that log. Man, I wish you were over here. I know, but by the time I get there... I know. Yeah, I get him that way, maybe. No, don't go into that. There, get your, get your net. my goodness look at the size of that one I just caught on the fly rod holy cow that's like almost the that's the biggest one I think I've caught out of here this thing is huge that's the woolly bugger for the win on the fly rod yeah nice. oh man that hook was set good too that was a good one that was good too because that was a lot of fight in this guy. Look at him. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. That's a good. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Lord. We're eating well. That is huge. That is huge. Oh my goodness. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught on a fly rod. The biggest trout I've ever caught, probably. All right. Perfect. Well, now I know what to use. The uh, purple sparkly woolly bugger. See? Consistent, persistent effort. Greg's over there nailing them. He got three in the time it took me to figure out what lure, what uh, fly to use, and how to cast into the wind, and learn all that stuff. But I caught one, because I wanted to catch one on my fly rod. Wild. Maybe I could do it again. Because all the other times I landed that woolly bugger, it was in the Strike wrong when spot. The iron's hot. Huh? Strike when the iron's hot. Yeah. It took me like 10 casts, and I got this woolly bugger right in the spot where, uh, the fish were, and then it was like, boom. Oh, that wind picked right up, right when I'm in the middle of casting. 
That's it. Wind's getting worse. I'm switching to the regular. Not bad. Two for two for today. Three for Greg. It makes me leaves me at 30, 39 for Greg. I'm gonna have to sneak down here in the middle of the night and catch more fish without him because if I bring him with me and just I'm never gonna narrow that gap by six points. Yesterday was a fluke. I caught one and he got skunked. Home sweet home. Everything's still where it's supposed to be. Yep. What a hike. I know. It never gets shorter. Oh, but we got a lot of fish again. Yeah. Well, there's my fish. And there's Greg's. That's similar. He's I'd say Greg's looks a little fatter. This this guy's a little. Hey, look, look at how fat he is. Mm -hmm. Look at how big these guys are compared to my hand. They're what do you think? These are like four, these are five, four pounders. Fourteen pounders. Wow. Well, I mean, like this is probably three, but this is over four. Like average, we've got like. Oh yeah, I mean that's like fourteen pounds. You know. Nice, right? We're eating good. We're eating good now. We are eating good. No more of this one fish a day stuff. No, we don't want that. Well, actually, even yesterday we had one fish and one fillet, it so so we both had an entire fish basically. Oh, which is actually our goal. So I don't know that I want to eat you one. Keep <gasps> the eggs. Here, if you want to get something for them. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Look at the eggs we're getting. Oh, I have a little... Hmm. I have some eggs. Nice, eh? Okay, yeah, I'll keep them all. Yeah, just... Just see which ones are female. And yeah. I'll keep the eggs. If only we had some bacon to go with those eggs. More coffee? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good job. Wow. That side just cooked right up, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, the rock's pretty hot, I think. Yep. That's checkmate. Is it? Yeah, where can I go? I can't go here. I can't go here. Oh. You got me. Oh, I did too. Yep. Hmm. Good game. What happened? It looks like a raccoon got out of our fish. Greg had his while it was no. right there on the fire. He doesn't, he's, I'm not waiting. I'm going for it. No. If I can get it off of here, he might have been the smart one to get the top side. Mm -hmm. And it's hot. That's the piece I didn't want. Oh, that left lost a little bite. Well, it's time to get a new rock. The Teflon on our rock wore out and everything's sticking again. Uh, it's always something. No matter how hard you work, there's just something. <laughs> And the wadobo is clumping from all the moisture. Oh, I'm telling you. Is this really worth it? Buffalo wings. Blue cheese. Mm. Or garlic butter wings. Oh, I can make some good garlic butter wings. Garlic butter wadobo wings. That might be a thing. Coming soon to a website near you. Garlic wadobo butter wing sauce.
I don't know what else. Oh, I'm gonna put that bucket that we use for the water, and we if we don't get blueberries, we could put water in it on the way back. Remind me to grab the 360 cam. Take some time to build a 360 video. All right, that was a pretty awesome day. I it was one of my like bucket list goals is catch a giant fish on a fly rod while we were doing this, you know. And uh, I nailed it. I really nailed it. That thing was huge. We got our fish on to smoke. It's just, uh, we put the smoker over and then some uh, green pieces of split wood down on top of the coals and then the rock on top so it couldn't flare up and catch the smoker on fire. The flies and stuff are kind of down so it probably won't get too much smoke on them but the more they dry out and get smoke around them the more protected they'll be. And because uh, tomorrow when we don't eat some of them we'll have to like wrap them in my shemog to keep the flies off and... And right now, they're down there for bear attractant, probably. <laughs> uh, so, who knows? We might get a cool bear encounter in the night. But hopefully not, because I want to eat those. I think tomorrow we're going to try and take advantage of having some extra calories. Go for a little hike down the mountain and explore a blueberry patch Greg knows about. See if we can't score some blueberries. Only a few days left, but man, we still got a lot of cool things to do. I am determined to build that drawbridge uh, ladder to get up to here. I want these things finished and, you know, as creatively, imaginably cool as possible. Even though we won't be here to play with them more after that, Greg can always come back and hang out here. I'll have to uh, head back to Maine. But uh, I have so far been checking things off my list and accomplishing my goals of adventure while we're here. And that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out.